the most known uh, pastors in the nation. A former chaplain for both the Dallas Cowboys and the Mavericks, Evans is also a well-known author, speaker, and widely syndicated radio host. Harris was in the second service on Sunday when he learned that Evans was stepping away from his pastoral duties. Hey guys, welcome to Burning of Ebbs. I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. We begin Pastor Tony Evans. As you know, Pastor Tony Evans has stepped down for ministry. They put out a statement and even New York Times is reporting on this issue as well as Washington Post. It has become a nation news. But I have this clip that I want to share with you guys and then I'll make a commentary. Without further ado, here we go. The longtime pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church suddenly decides to step down. Yeah, he told his congregation that the move was, and I'm quoting, due to sin. Our Brooke Rogers has reaction from those church members. Tony Evans has been the senior pastor here for 48 years and has grown membership to around 10,000 people. Church members we spoke to today said they support and admire Evans through this surprising change in leadership. James Harris Jr. has worshipped at Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church for 32 years and has watched it flourish under senior pastor Tony Evans. Yes, he's a, um, a staple in the community. Um, I think he is one of the, the most known uh, pastors in the nation. A former chaplain for both the Dallas Cowboys and the Mavericks, Evans is also a well-known author, speaker, and widely syndicated radio host. Harris was in the second service on Sunday when he learned that Evans was stepping away from his pastoral duties. It was shock, you know. Um, everyone really couldn't believe what, what was being said. Evans told the congregation that he had committed a sin a number of years ago and that he is required to apply the same biblical standard of repentance and restoration to himself that he has applied to others. He said, quote, while I have committed no crime, I did not use righteous judgment in my actions. In light of this, I am stepping away from my pastoral duties and am submitting to a healing and restoration process established by the elders. This will afford me a needed time of spiritual recovery and healing. Harris says his actions are a reminder that pastors are human too. But people who have come to maturity, grown in the faith. As well as an opportunity to give back to Evans what he's taught them. I mean, him and his family, um, they truly believe what they preach and they and they um, they act on it. And so this is just another showing of, of faith in God and um, forgiveness and healing and grace. All right, guys. So as you can see, this gentleman, he's, he's been a member at Oak Cliff Bible Church for 32 years. But guess what? He had no idea that his pastor was going to step down. He also just find out uh, at church. So this is a statement. Uh, this is a clip from uh, New York Post as they're reporting this story as well. And I quote this. Evans announced in a written statement to his congregation that he was stepping down as a senior pastor of the Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church in Dallas. Guys, why is Pastor Tony Evans giving this... Um, this statement, via, why is he communicating to his congregation, to his sheep, via a statement? So clearly, whatever they did, this was done behind a backroom door with the elders. The congregation, they were in the dark. I don't understand why they think it is okay to keep the congregation in the dark. They should have announced this in the presence of the congregation. So the congregation... They heard about it via statement, just like the public. It should not be so. It should not be so. Okay, so most people are, quote-unquote, kind of like pushing back, saying, oh, why are people talking about this? People shouldn't be discussing this. No, people can discuss this. Because one, um, Dr. Evans, he's a pastor. He's a public figure. And whenever people do these things, and it's not up and up, keeping up and up with the scriptures, the world is watching. So how we handle this, they're going to look, uh, they have a right to talk about it. What do you think the New York Times is writing about it? The Washington Post, the People magazine. Pastor Tony Evans was the number one story trending in the news. Why do you think there's that so much interest? Now, if we look at the scriptures, 
right? The qualifications of an elder. First Timothy um, 3, verse 7, right? It actually says, Moreover, an overseer, he must be well thought of by outsiders so that he may not fall into disgrace, into a snare of the devil. That is part of a qualification of an elder. So even the outsiders who are not part of your congregation, they must think well of you. Right now with this situation, are you telling me people who are outside are thinking well of Pastor Tony Evans? Hmm? Absolutely not. Not only that, the fact that the people in his own church, his congregation, they are not aware of everything that happened. Why are they hiding to the congregation? Pastor Tony Evans stepped down. He did not step down on his own. This took place uh, amongst elders after, after so many meetings. Why did it take so long? Hmm? Why did it take so long? So why is it that the elders are, are keeping a secret with Pastor Tony Evans even to their own congregation? So to be quite honest with you, even the way the elders are handling this issue, to me, it's just like, no, you need to be biblical. But to me, what I'm seeing, everything, they want to protect the legacy and the ministry of Pastor Tony Evans. Now, the fact that you have these big newspapers are looking into this issue, how long before they dispatch their investigative reporters to go in and dig in to find out exactly this scene that Pastor Tony Evans committed that is, quote-unquote, a secret. Nothing is a secret, guys, okay? Be careful because your sin will find you. There's nothing new under the sun. So to me, I think they should have just come out straightforward and say what it is. And that would be that would have just been it. Because everybody sins. Okay? But the fact that they are hiding, so now once the sin comes out, becomes public, guess what? We'll be back at here all over again. It should not be so. There's no need to celebrate on this issue. Even Pastor Tony Evans himself is asking, telling, uh, asking his congregation to pray for him and he's thanking his congregation for their for forgiveness. How can he be asking for their for forgiveness and yet these people, they don't know what exactly are they forgiving Pastor Tony Evans for? We shouldn't be showing any partiality. If this was T.D. Jakes, okay, who'd be out here <laughs> burying him left and right. If this was Joe Austin, you name it. So why is it that Pastor Tony Evans is getting this special treatment where people are saying, oh, just leave it alone, just pray about it, don't do anything. But no, a discernment is a gift of the Spirit that Christians should be exercising. We should be exercising those with anybody else. If this was your pastor at your church, who ends up, you just find out, you go to church, that like, oh, voila, your pastor is stepping down. And they're not telling you the reason why the pastor is stepping down. Are you telling me you're not going to ask why he's stepping down? Are you telling me you wouldn't want to know what it is? So this is not about knowing, like, okay, the business of Pastor Tony Evers and everything. No. According to the qualifications, he, moreover, he must be well thought of by outsiders so that he might not fall into disgrace, into a snare of the devil. So according to the scriptures, Pastor Tony Evans has found himself falling into disgrace by his own doing. There's no sin that is beyond redemption. Uh, from everything else, looks like he has repented and the elders are restoring. The point that I'm trying to make over here is the manner of how they are handling this. It does not conf comfort to the scriptures. That's the point that I'm making. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Do you think that it's okay for Pastor, uh, Pastor Tony Evans to keep this sin secret only to leave it to the selected few or he should tell it to his congregation? Let me know in your comments exactly what you guys think. Be sure to back up your position with a big position, okay? I can understand when you love somebody, you, you, want, to, you want to stand by them, okay? You can stand by somebody by speaking truth and love. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.